Again, this is one of those monotonous. Oops, turn my tweezers the other way. But it's what makes it. These are nice because they're not all straight, they're curved. They're Nice variety. If you can see, I'm just dipping the end quick. Nothing. Just that's it. Doesn't doesn't take much. It's gonna stick in. The grass will hold it up till it dries. You may not even be able to see it from that view at the moment. Here's a couple together, just clump them up a little bit. But again, it, we're going to be putting them everywhere. And these vary in color a little bit, some are lighter than others. So that's why I thought this is what's going to give me my additional color variation that I'm looking for. Go. All right, grab a little bit of the field, first field weed here. This has got a little more body to it. Um, just kind of something you'd see in a field also. When a camera shot is from the side, you can really see what this stuff does. So I'll put in a couple more of these, then we're going to add one of our little saplings, and then uh, we'll switch the camera off and we'll do the magic behind the scenes. We'll also put them in the back here that are going to get rolled over. Um, and then we'll throw in a couple little dead sprigs too, they're always floating around the field. You know, and then we have these. We'll throw a couple in. Uh, just plain natural growth. Dip for two seconds in the foliage dye, taken out, allowed to dry. Um, the foliage dye actually dries awful quick too. Um, I usually let things dry overnight, but it's quick drying. It's not paint. It's got alcohol in it. There's always going to be stuff floating around the field. Now, the fun thing about the foliage dye... Is if I wanted to alter what these were, and some I probably will, I can come back with a, a bright green with a brush, and I can touch some of the spots on these, and I can alter the color just basically right on the scene. So. If it looks a little too bland constantly, I can come in and I can alter it. I can even take some red foliage dye. I can dab on the edges here, make them look like flowers. Um, something like that if need be, or if I want. Um, now this area from basically here over, not a lot, field weed, yes, but not saplings or a lot of vegetation because the canopy of this tree is so shaded, not much is really going to be under here. That's why I even left this shrub line low. Um, so what I think I might do is wait till I put all the field weed in. And then like I said, I'm going to come back with a couple of these probably. I'm not really sure, you know, make believe. I might, you know, throw something in here. Um, I'll decide after I get this field weed in. I don't want to get too much in because once the field weed is in, um, I'm going to put everything back together again and see where we stand. The other thing I use, and I usually trim these down, is this is plain, pure, non-preserved caspia. Uh, I usually snip pieces of this off. This has a nice little white and purple in it. 
makes for a great field flower. So although this piece here is too big, you can see it's going to give us a good contrast when we throw little groups of it in some spots. We also have, this is some of just plain branch material from Preserved Caspia. Now this is, a, this is out of the yellow, but if you look close, I don't know if you can see, you can't really tell, um, I took foliage dye in the tips, some green, a little chartreuse green, look like some new growth on it, um, and I dabbed that on, and here we have instant, instant field shrub. You know, we can do whatever we want with that, we'll put that in there too, I'm sure. Um, saplings I already showed. Alright, so from here on out, I'm going to go in, I'm going to add all this field weed. Um, no need to do that on the camera at the moment. So I'll go through, add all that, some other miscellaneous stuff, put the scene back together, and uh, that's where we'll pick it up uh, on the next round with adding the saplings and some other vegetation. So uh, we'll get that in, and what we'll probably do at that point once this field weed is in, we'll probably permanently put the tank in. Um, there's going to be driver on it yet, so I'll probably have to cut the hatch open. And same with the tree. Um, I'm going to be adding some foliage on the tank some to blend it into the scene uh, before we do figures. I'll probably throw some stuff out. We'll throw some other stuff on it, liven it up a little bit. So, all right, there we have it. Uh, till next round. See you soon.